which also California, where we happen to take our kids for Disneyland with this our school trips. Can we is please it Disney focus under, on 3.03? No, We're not talking Disney's, about water Disney rights. is, we're finding out it's super creepy and weird. California allows you to have sex with kids as long as there's a 10-year or less age difference, that that's where we're taking our kids with our, our sexually confused teachers right, who don't have children of their own. I've been with my husband for 20 something years. All right, I well, never have to discuss my sex life in public because my three beautiful well, kids teach your girls oh, not right. to let She's every off. guy them so they don't have to have abortion. Miss Kingsley, Take this control is control of your children. Can, oh, God, can you ejaculate? Absolutely not. Don't let everyone ejaculate at you. Control your own body. You don't have abortions. Planned Parenthood All right, was founded folks. to kill minorities. We, we're gonna, um, we're going to. Why are you cutting off my time? The control. Hey, you could. Hey, you have a box of pubic hair. You have a box. You have a box. A book can we have of pubic hair you collected, Lola Brooks? I know about your book. I know about your there. book of pubic hair. <laughs> Another proud conservative there in the voting block of Republican Party there. Uh, she showed up at the Clark County School Board and she went off as you heard about the pedophile teachers and how they're doing with this with children and they're confused and now there's pubic hair in books. Are we banning are we banning those books too? Uh, some of the details here of what happened in this uh, interaction went off the rails. So this parent, Stephanie Kinsey, she also runs a parent group called My Children's Advocate, took to the stand and stated her intent to address the topic of sexual education in the schools. But then she began accusing the teachers of sexually abusing children. Uh, Kinsley began criticizing the school district and she said, if you, if you can't get math right, why are you trying to take on sex ed? Those two things are connected somehow. Her speech quickly became more off topic and she began complaining about the water supply in Nevada and mentioned that the state of Nevada is giving its water to California. An administrator attempted to interrupt asking Kinsley to stay on track, but instead she continued as you saw there, Francesca, and oh she God. lost it and eventually got taken out. Facebook is one hell of a drug. I mean, let's just be real, that is algorithmically radicalized. This is someone who has not spoken to anyone out loud in days, weeks maybe, right? Except for yeah. if you count like, you know, monologuing at uh, the local grocery store, which I wouldn't. Speaking, like, this is how rotten people's brains are when they're watching Fox News. And my favorite is you have a box of pubic hair. No, wait, you have a book. <laughs> I know about your pubic hair book, and now I'm understanding. Oh. I guess from the way you reframed it, that yeah, maybe there's a sex ed book that has like a picture of genitalia with pubic hair. And I guess my question is, do you want it to not have pubic hair? So things got a little dicey. Things got loud. Um, for this Trumpian Mesa County, Colorado clerk, her name is Tina Peters. She was detained just last week when she was in a bagel shop, I believe, when officers approached her with a warrant. Let's watch how that went down. I'm getting the feeling two things are not going to happen there. They're not going to let go of you and they're not going to give you the key to your car. Because if they gave you the key to your car, I mean, I'm, I assume you'd drive away. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like some people don't understand what arrests are like, but um, you can't just tell them, how dare you arrest me? Let me go. Now, if they're hurting her, yes, they should probably stop doing that. Um, but the rest of this whole thing is an arrest. And what is she being arrested for? Let's look into some of that, you guys. According to this affidavit, officers were serving a warrant to seize Peters' iPad on which she is suspected of improperly recording a court hearing involving her deputy clerk, Belinda Knisi, after a judge prohibited recording in the courtroom. 
Clark Peters denied to the judge that she was recording at the hearing, but an arrest warrant says that the iPad OS camera application was open, distinguishable with the red with the red record button, and that an observer quote saw that the view in the viewfinder was a live view of the courtroom. So they had a warrant to go check this out to see if she had done things like this. She didn't want to show them, so they arrested her. Now, we talked about her deputy clerk being in in court. What was she in court for? Man, the crimes just start to expand here, or at least the accusations. Let's look at that. Knizzi is facing burglary and cybercrime charges. According to an affidavit, she went into the clerk's office in late August when she was on administrative leave for, quote, inappropriate, unprofessional conduct in the workplace. She's also accused of using a computer in Peters' office while Peters was away after the security breach went public. Wait, she's in court for going into an office improperly during, wait. Peters was away after, what security breach are we talking about? Let's go to that expansion of more potential crimes. Peters has been accused of helping facilitate breaches in election system security, ignoring election rules and defying orders from Secretary of State Jenna Griswold. She also faces ethics and campaign finance complaints involving gifts she's allegedly accepted above legal limits. That's what Colorado politics is reporting. Last month, Mesa County District Attorney Dan Rubenstein and Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser announced that the Mesa County Grand Jury was investigating allegations of tampering with Mesa County election equipment and official misconduct. Man, it just keeps expanding and expanding and expanding, Dave. Before we get to people who are defending her, because that's gonna incriminate her further. <clears throat> what do you think about this arrest, first of all? Well, I think pretty soon we're gonna find out that not only was she in that bagel shop where she was arrested, but that she had ordered a white bagel with mayonnaise on it or something like that ridiculous. <laughs> this woman's involved in election fraud. She's trying to steal elections. She's acting on behalf of the Republican Party to tamper with the systems, to hack into systems. And now she suddenly wants to give me my keys, give me my keys. Let me finish my bagel. Let me go. I mean, you know, when people talk about election fraud, yes, there is election fraud, and Miss Peters and her assistant are perfect examples of that.